Today on Film Riot, we're looking at five simple tips every new grip should know. Welcome to Film Riot, the show takes Mr. out of the effects and techniques, going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and there's a handful of incredibly simple but also invaluable tips to know if you're getting started as a grip or even if you're just on set to help out with a small crew. And most of these are tricks of the trade, ideas that only really come from experience taught to me by this guy. Justin has worked on 10 feature films and has come across a lot of excellent tricks along the way, so let's jump right in with a courtesy flag. A courtesy flag is using a flag to block the sun for camera, video village, or your really pale executive producer. If you're a grip, and you see the DP or AC squinting or trying to shade the monitor with their hands, you're already too late to the game. A good grip, as Justin puts it, will be better than sunscreen. You can fly a courtesy flag with any size flag you have, but most common on set would be a four by solid, AKA a floppy. They're great because they actually give you eight feet of blockage, unlike the four by four solids that don't have the floppy option. But those can become sails if they're straight up, so they're usually tabled so you can make a roof for Video Village. If you have the option, it's usually best to go with a combo stand to fly a four by four Floppy. It's much sturdier and more reliable if you're shooting exteriors and you should never underestimate the power of a good gust of wind. If it's a bit breezy, you can clamp the back of the floppy part to itself behind the C-stand or combo so it doesn't play footsie with the legs of whoever's in the shadow. You can also use the number two clamp to clamp two table floppies together, which will give you a tighter roof for your video village. A little side tip is if you're setting a 12 by 18 or two by three flag, and if the position permits, it's best to safely place the flag over your subject like this. Don't half-ass a flag with the arms sticking out for no real reason, especially without a tennis ball, which isn't good at all. And ultimately this position doesn't make sense when you could move the stand up and place a flag correctly. Among the grip's priorities for lighting and camera support, their biggest priority should be safety. If the first AC is wirelessly pulling focus off a rogue monitor and you're out of floppies, you can make a blanket out of scrap duvetine so they can see. Or if you don't have any flags or duve, just Hollywood, a black shirt, it's better than nothing. Anybody in the shade, especially the focus puller, will definitely appreciate the courtesy. Why did the camera get pulled over by the pull out cops? It was speeding. <laughs> it's funny if you work in camera. <laughs> Next is a happy butt. While sounding either sexual or like a dance move, it is neither of those things. It's something like this. One of the jobs of a grip is to offer camera support, for example, an Apple box for a camera operator, and a good grip won't stop until your butt cheeks are safe and sound. The standard happy butt looks similar to those navy blue ones that you can get from Home Depot. You could also cut part of a yoga mat into an apple box size or one of those stadium cushions that people use at sporting events or use a kiddie pool kickboard, although not as soft. You can even tape a perfectly fitted happy butt to the top or side of an apple box so it rolls with the apple box and is always ready. Among being music to asses, happy butts can be used for pillows during lunch break, a small stunt mat, or more importantly, a cushion for your camera operator when a shot requires them to be on their knees. Nothing will get you more love than being Johnny on the spot when knees hit a hard surface.
Moving on, again, one brilliant trick that Justin learned on set was when there was a four by Opal diffusing the sun on a talent's face. Since Opal is really, really thin and wasn't all the way tight to the frame, very light wind was making it sound like a rustling grocery bag. The DP quickly grabbed two empty styrofoam cups from Crafty and placed them lid down against the opal and then taped them to the frame. The sound mixer was happy and they kept shooting. You could use the same trick for any type of diffusion or gel if the sound permits. Just be careful of shadows. Now we break, then get into our final two tips. What is, what is a grip order from McDonald's? That's because you're a producer. But a grip would say, a combo. <laughs> combo stand. Number five. Hold the bacon. <laughs> Please get out of my office. Okay. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, innovator, Domain.com is the place to go when that next idea hits you. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you're taking the first steps in creating an identity or vision for your brand or idea. The world's two top premier and most recognized domain name extensions are .com and .net, which means those are the ones that are going to help you build your brand and expand your presence online the best. Of course, Domain.com is reliable, affordable, and easy to use. And to show you some love, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices. When you get domain names, web hosting, and email, just use the coupon code FILMRIOT at Domain.com's checkout. And when you think domain names, thinkdomain.com. Logo. Next in line, we have this guy, which to a sound mixer is a sound blanket, and to anyone else is probably a furniture pad or blanket, but to grips, it's usually referred to as a fernie. The sound department will sometimes hang these around to make somewhat of a wall to help reflections in the room or lay them on the ground if the talent has loud shoes of some kind. But for grips, the uses is really up to them. Each day on set brings a different barrage of things to figure out, so be creative. If the camera operator is shooting handheld from a sitting position or a shoulder rig, rolling up a fernie into a burrito and placing it under his arms can help brace and make that position a lot more comfortable, especially for long takes. If the camera operator is shooting against a wall and needs something to help brace their back, you can fold this up into whatever fits their position. Or if you're ever out of happy butts, you can fold this like so, and you'll be able to get about two seats or a knee pad out of this guy. Then when it's time to store them, rolling these up into burritos will help save a lot of space. And here's how you roll one. And to our last tip, which I know this mostly relates to the electric and lighting side of things, but it's a good tip to know if you're ever a swing G and E, which in case you don't know, means grip and electric. Most of the time on set, you'll see C47s used for clamping diffusion or gel on a barn doors, but C47s break easily and don't have a very tight bite. So a couple of alternatives that you'll see on set a lot are zeros, which are the little siblings to the industry standard number two clamps. The reason that they're called that is because the number refers to how many inches wide the clamp opens. You have your number threes, your number twos, and then of course your number one clamps followed by these bad boys which are usually referred to as zeros. They have a nice bite to them and honestly they just look a lot cooler and last a lot longer than C47s. Plus most electrics will have C47s attached to their shirt, pants, or pouch and can get knocked off a lot easier than zeros. But it's really up to your liking or the gaffer's preference. Justin has even met a gaffer that preferred using these little binder clips like this which do the job just as well. What did the what did the first AD say on his honeymoon? Action. <laughs> and that's it for today. As always, check the notes below for links to our social channels and the gear that we use to make the show, among other things. And if you haven't seen it, we released our Western short, which you can find below as well. And I'll see you next week when I'm saved by my lucky backpack. What kind of cameras do witches shoot their friends on? Black magic? <laughs>